Hey gang and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I am Crossing Channel and right now we're all waiting very impatiently for the roost to arrive in the next Animal Crossing New Horizons update which will happen in November. Of course, the Roost is a beloved building from past Animal Crossing games, and we know that it has many different features which will probably be enjoyed in Animal Crossing New Horizons as well. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the features we can expect to see from the Roost in Animal Crossing New Horizons, going off past games and also data mines for Animal Crossing New Horizons as well. There's a lot to unpack here, and the Roost is an incredibly exciting place to visit, so I wanted to take a proper look at it and what we can expect to see. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the roost and what's so special about it, basically the roost has been a place where you can go to pick up coffee from a character known as Brewster. You can also meet other villagers and oftentimes special characters there as well, and it's just a nice spot to kind of chill in. It's a really relaxing kind of getaway from the hustle and bustle of the rest of your island life, so it's a pretty cool place to go, and by going there every day you can develop a pretty good friendship with Brewster, who in my opinion is one of the best Animal Crossing characters of all time. In Animal Crossing New Leaf, the Roost was its own standalone building, but in Animal Crossing New Horizons, it's returned to its roots of the past games, where it'll be in the museum, and you'll be able to go there 24-7 to pick up coffee anytime you want. If it works like past Animal Crossing games, you'll only be able to pick up one coffee per day, but there should be a variety of other activities that you can enjoy there, which would be incredibly exciting. And that doesn't include things that we have no idea about that Nintendo could reveal in the upcoming Animal Crossing Direct, which I'm sure we're all incredibly excited about. Now, as I mentioned, one of the cooler features of the Roost is the friendship that you can build up with Brewster, who is the main barista at the Roost. Now, you might recall the friendship you had with Sable and how you talk to her every day to increase your friendship to eventually unlock some really cool stuff. Well, Brewster basically works the exact same, where the more you buy coffee from him, the better your friendship is going to be with him. And from there, you should be able to unlock more features in the Roost. For example, in Animal Crossing New Leaf, once you got a good enough friendship with Brewster, you could basically start to work at the Roost, which was one of the coolest features, and one that I definitely can see returning to Animal Crossing New Horizons. You would basically work part-time at the Roost once per day, and on the job, you could meet certain villagers who would have different orders. Now, your villagers would kind of give you different hints about what types of coffee they would specifically like, and you would have to kind of mentally jot that down, or of course, you could also just write it down or look up a guide online if you wanted to, to make sure you made the right coffee for them. And if you got all of the orders correctly, or, you know, most of the orders correctly, you would get better prizes depending on how well you did. This is definitely something that I can imagine returning to Animal Crossing New Horizons. It was a really popular feature back in New Leaf and it really wouldn't make sense for the Roost not to include this. This would mean once again that villagers would all have their own independent choices for what coffee they wanted, which would be really cool and I'm sure we'll see a lot of guides when this eventually happens so that people can make sure they make the right orders every time. Of course, you can just wing it, but you may not get as good rewards if you don't do all of the coffee orders the best that you possibly can. Another really cool part of the Roost is this is where you could meet special characters when they weren't doing their regular jobs. You can see the special visitors list from Animal Crossing New Leaf. This is coming from Nookopedia, so big thanks to them for their resources on this. And you can see that some really cool characters that we can't currently see in Animal Crossing New Horizons were visiting the roost back in Animal Crossing New Leaf, and they could do something similar here. In fact, it was data mined that Rover had some kind of dialogue connection to the roost. So it definitely seems likely that at least Rover and probably other special characters will appear appear in the roost. And in fact, this could be a fantastic way for them to introduce the missing special characters from Animal Crossing New Leaf and past games that are no longer in New Horizons and don't really have much of a role. I personally think this would be absolutely fantastic and a really great way to bring back those characters and just be a nice little nod to the past Animal Crossing games. With the data mines showing us this with Rover, it's anyone's guess which characters will actually appear. Of course, we know Rover is going to appear in the roost at some point, probably on random days of the week like that Nookopedia chart, but the question is, will it just be special characters you can already see in Animal Crossing New Horizons, let's say the Dodos and maybe Tom, Nook and Isabel, 
or will it include special characters from past games like I mentioned? I personally think if it did include special characters from past games, that would be incredibly exciting. I can't envision some of these characters returning to the game full time, like Harriet for example and Porter, I just can't imagine them having any kind of role in New Horizons, even though there are lots of good ideas for them, don't get me wrong, I just can't imagine the developers putting them in as an actual feature, so it would be nice if they did appear in the roost and we could chat to them on random days of the week. It would certainly make it exciting to go and visit the roost to see which characters might be there. Of course your villagers can also appear there and sit down in the roost and you can have a chat with them. That means we definitely will be expecting to see more dialogue which is really exciting. I'm really hoping there's a lot that's attached to the roost so that it definitely makes it worthwhile to go there and chat to your villagers and special characters that you may meet there on the different days of the week. By working at the roost, you could also get coffee beans, which were an item that you could actually sell for a pretty decent profit, and the quality of the beans would depend on how well you did when working there. You could also give them to your villagers to increase their friendship, which is something I could see them maybe play on more in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Maybe the coffee beans would have an even more extreme effect or they'd do something else. If they do add in the coffee beans, then I think it's safe to say that at least them, or maybe the coffee that you actually get from Brewster, will increase your energy. After all, the boba drink that we got increased your energy, so I can't imagine coffee not doing the same. It would be really cool though if coffee or the coffee beans could actually increase your energy all the way to 10, as of course coffee is known for giving people a really strong surge of energy, so that definitely would make sense. Also by working there, you could unlock a bunch of different cafe related furniture which I definitely see them adding into the game. It would be really neat if you could unlock the Brewster gyroids which I've mentioned a few times in these videos. I really love them and if they do add gyroids in this update then I definitely think we will be seeing the Brewster gyroids as well. Now I know on the sign for the roost it has been speculated that the little sign seems to show houses and maybe the roost could somehow implement apartments or hotels or something like that but personally I really do not believe that. I can't get behind the logic of a hotel or apartments being in a museum or even in a cafe let alone that. It just doesn't really make any sense to me. I think it would be a really cool idea, but definitely not attached to the roost. That would be really strange, and it would make the museum feel way too busy. That being said, it is interesting to speculate about what this could possibly mean. I did however see someone say that it has something to do with the temperature of mountain beans, which I'm not entirely sure about, but that seems much more likely to me than them adding in apartments or something similar to that. What do you think though? Are you excited for the roost in Animal Crossing New Horizons and which features do you expect to see in the roost this time around? There's definitely going to be a lot to unpack in the coming weeks so I'm really excited to see exactly what they decide to do with the roost, how they can improve it in Animal Crossing New Horizons and what features they'll decide to bring back. At the very least I hope we can work there because that was such a cool feature and with recent data mines of potential villager jobs maybe it could even have some kind of relation to the roost, that definitely would be really cool. Leave a comment down below saying Bob's Gang if you made it to the end of the video and be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.